Welcome to the Product Design Show. For cutting edge products, sometimes novel user interfaces dominate the design process, leaving function as afterthought. Today, we'll show you how a design team created a 360 degree camera whose form and function work in total harmony. When we picture a camera, we have a set of expectations about how it will look. The camera's body should be a rectangle with a lens attached to the front, and the user will stand behind it to take a photo. The problem with conventional cameras is that they only take pictures of the things that are directly in front of the camera body. Even when you use the most extreme fisheye lenses, the greatest angle of view that you can achieve is 180 degrees. Tamago is set to release a 360 degree camera that will challenge the way people think about taking pictures. We spoke with Stefan Lepage, chief designer at Tamago, about their new camera and how its unique features drove the camera's design. In the initial conception of the Tamago, Stefan and his team knew that they wanted to make a mobile device capable of capturing wide field images. Stefan explains the idea best. A, a 360 camera allows you to capture the moment. You don't have to frame anything. It takes 360 degrees around you. So it frees you of the uh, work of taking a photo. You just take the moment. They also wanted anyone to be able to use it, and they wanted it to be able to communicate with the web and other devices. One of the major design challenges that the team faced in implementing all of these design constraints was how to build a device that could take photos with a 360 degree angle of view while also making it handheld. Because the Tamago used panamorph lenses, it was always intended to be a wide field camera. Departing from the old rectangular style body was an immediate decision for the team. Stefan's team insisted the body needed to inform the user of its function. To best achieve this, a conical head was designed for the camera. Not only did this conical head give the camera ample room to take wide field photos, but it also informed the user that they didn't have to just stand behind the lens. Once the lens housing had been designed, the Tamago's body had to be shaped to fit a hand. By examining the average contours of the human hand and extending the shape of the lensing housing, the camera's egg shape evolved. The final step in designing the packaging of the Tamago was deciding how to make the device simple to operate. To address this challenge, a single button was chosen as the only operating control for the entire device. By placing the button on top of the camera, the Tamago auto-orients itself in the user's hand, further reinforcing the design's intuitive nature. One further design challenge confronted Stefan's team. Because the Tamago was not a box, all of the electronics inside the device has to be designed to fit this non-standard curved housing. Tamago's engineers used PTC's Creo to adapt the interior design of the Tamago to its ever-evolving body, making constant adjustments to the placement of critical components. Tamago stands as a great example of how a complete design can create a product that balances form and function. But Stefan reminded us, you've done a good job if the design is simple. But getting to that simplicity is very complex. You can see Creo Parametric, the same software that Tamago used to design their Tamago camera at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. Thanks for tuning in. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.